Good afternoon, Internet. It's July 3rd, 2022, and this is the VSS variable speed sensor on my 2001 GL1800 Goldwing. And my practice is that when I don't see a video specific to my quandary, that I take a moment and try and detail what I learn. So here in summary is how I skinned this cat, so to speak. Where's the cat? Oh, yeah, there's the cat. Okay, so got to skin the cat. So this is Charlie. And I'm going to attempt to skin the cat. Right about here on the gold wing, under the muffler pipe, underneath you got to re remove the protective cover, the gray cover, but there's a bolt on the front end that you got to release the front cover to see. My climbers didn't show it, and that was my big frustration is that there was a bolt that I didn't understand. And so right here on Charlie, if you will, uh, it would be this right here. That piece... When you, when you do that removal, and if you look at the climbers, you can see this piece, but you gotta come at it from the front. There's those chrome pieces. You gotta come at it from the front to get that. So, you know, when my wife says to me, honey, would you go out and work in the garden? So here's me, honey, I'm working in the garden. That's a joke to make my wife laugh. My brothers think that's funny. So shout out to Hober Malice, my pal in New Mexico, who uh, has a little newer bike, but really very similar. So here's the air vent on the side right here. And the thing that's not so obvious is the, the plugs hover right about here. As my brother, I walked away kind of frustrated. My brother was Quick to discover it up, kind of tucked just above. Here's the rectangle connector, and there's the one coming from underneath. And here's the wire going down along the case. I love Honda Engineering for a lot of reason, but this zip tie is reusable, so don't be quick to snap that off of the side cutters as I consider doing. But routing that up and underneath here. And oh, by the way, when you're doing this job, and you release the uh, rear reservoir and you open it up like I did and find jack nothing inside, be thankful that uh, you took the time to do your VSS. So my VSS variable speed sensor maybe is showing symptoms on the cruise control, but I see no speedo malfunction. But I did get that code 11, I believe it is. Uh, FI, I believe, stands for fault indication, not fuel ejection, not Formula One. I'm joking, but those things are just for the noob to figure out. Now, the other thing is that Climbers says take the whole shelter off. And, you know, when I read that, I want to, you know, find, find an X-Acto blade. Where's the X-Acto blade? Number 11. And just, you know, go after a, a, a main artery and slit my own wrist because I'm, be I'm getting better with that job. But I tell you what, Taking that shelter off is a two-person job at best. And you pros out there, hats off to you. But this is doable without taking the whole shelter off. So you release your air wings. And you take this fascia piece off, which is right here. And you take your time and you use a body tool to get those clips loose. And you take the pocket out. You take this out earlier so you can get at that forward piece that I said. If you've got wings, gosh, these things are awesome. Just a couple of bolts. You don't need to take all four bolts out. I thought I might take the seat off so the side cover wasn't necessary, but then you can see stuff. And, of course, this covers up the, uh, the area we're working on. So number one is you don't have to take the shelter off. Number two, make sure that you drain the reservoir and pull that back because you'll need it to get at this uh, piece here. And you know, the cover, if it doesn't fit correctly into these tabs, 
have more patience than me because mine's been kind of sticking out for a while unnecessarily. And if you just work that a little more patiently and make it line up with this port here, you'll have success. So two 10 millimeters on the part, uh, trace the uh, wire back and plug it into the harness up here and then reassemble. The one thing I'm a little ignorant of as a noob is whether I have to clear the code or whether clo the, the bike computer will recognize that I've uh, changed out the components. So maybe I'll add a note in the comments about that, but here I am in the, sh in the, in the sun because the, the, the sun is low. Usually I say, you know, I'm under a shade tree here in Livingston, Wisconsin, Southwest Wisconsin, where the hollows are wonderful riding for you out of towners. I highly recommend the, the, the big river road and the hollows of Southwest Wisconsin for you touring riders. So independence day, uh, 2022 is tomorrow and um i do lift up prayers for my republic and for the constitution of the united states and for the flag of the united states um may long may it wave long may it wave see ya so it's uh 8 30 here on the prairie and i've been at it you know five or six hours i dug into a few additional things so it's not like the whole time was spent on this speed sensor but clearly you know with four pegs for this piece i just simply had to attach that before it went in then it dropped right into place so if you're alone putting a shelter on boy get an extra set of hands my reservoir was more than empty so i flushed that and got the old mighty vac out if you don't own one of these holy mackerel what a tool for a motorcycle owner. Anyway, about to throw this side cover in. It's a little low on oil, a little low on coolant, been hot. Put about a thousand miles on it this past month. And uh, getting ready to put a new front tire on while I've got the 4th of July. So maybe uh, final drive oil as well. And then all this bling goes back on. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a replacement rear component for my fender as I guess there was something maybe the previous owner didn't tell me about. I noticed it had brand new forks. So I think maybe this bike had a light front end collision that just never got reported to me. In any event, certainly new forks was a good thing at 78,000. This will be back on the road after 4th of July festivities. So it's 7 p.m. It's July 3rd, 2022. This is Charlie's channel. Oh, stretch. Wishing you a happy Independence Day. From the prairie, southwest Wisconsin. We've been working in the garden today. Honda service manual. Component. Plant. Component. Plant. Component. Plant. Component. Plant. That's garden work. Charlie. 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 Is that, is that garden work? Is that garden work? We've been working. Oh, there's a sensor, sensor that failed on my motorcycle, on my son's motorcycle. And so we were doing a little garden work. 80 degrees, 7 p.m. Charlie and I say happy Independence Day.